How's it going everybody? It's Kevin here once again. Give you a different video today. We're going to South by Southwest. So I figured that I'd make a vlog about it. So right now it's ungodly hour in the morning at 4.15 right now in the morning. My flight is off at 7 so I need to get there about two hours early. So what you guys can plan to do today is just going to be making a vlog about all my experiences over in South by Southwest. I figure you guys might want to check it out. So um, hope you guys enjoy the ride. We're going to go, we're going to be flying to Austin, Texas, meet up with some YouTube people, trying out the food and just experiencing everything Austin has to offer. And plus awesome hailness at South by Southwest. So hope you guys enjoy the video. So guys, yeah, we just landed in Austin, Texas right now. Uh, the flight in was fine, except for the landing part was a bit uh, scary, to say the least. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, we're in Austin now, so we're gonna go head over to the Airbnb where I was staying, and uh, we'll see what that looks like. I've, I've seen pictures, but I haven't obviously been there. So uh, yeah, let's go check it out. Alright guys, so we made it to the Airbnb. It's just me staying here. Uh, it's actually part of like someone's house. And it's kind of like a sectioned off room that I'm staying in kind of thing. Uh, so I'll give a quick little tour so you guys can see what the uh, living situation is. Alright, so this is what you see when you first walk in here. Yes, there is construction on the other side of this house. Hopefully it don't go until the late evening. I'm not going to be here most of the day anyways. I'll be most of the time in PAX, but, or not PAX, but South by Southwest. Uh, so this is the bedroom. You walk in, here's the bedroom. Kind of nice, right? Doges! Uh, big ass closet. And then uh, these doors actually go to the rest of the house, so we'll probably not open these. <laughs> uh, towels and toiletry stuff right there. And then you walk in, here's the bathroom. Coffee maker, a must have. And I kind of come with a bunch of accommodations right there for like shampoo, conditioner, lotions, all that good stuff. Shower, bathroom. Basically, every this place has everything I need besides the kitchen, but I'm planning to eat out pretty much every meal. I got a bunch of books in case I get bored, which, like I said, not going to happen on this trip. So that's the Airbnb, guys. So not too bad. It's kind of weird. How I thought it was like attached, detached from the place, but it turns out to be like part of the house. But hey, you know, whatever. <laughs> and uh, come up. Complimentary snacks. I already had a group Nutri Grain bar, Nutri Valley bar, because I haven't ate today. So yeah, just got in. I haven't ate today. I've been up since four o'clock in the morning. It's currently like three thirty right now in Austin. So I'm hungry. So we gotta go find some food. All right, guys. So we finally got on the road here. We're walking. Actually, what we need to do first is go to Whole Foods, get some supplies like toothpaste because you can't carry that on a plane, so I'm definitely going to need that and some other things. And also, 
Uh, give me a chance to kind of walk around the sun because I live in Seattle. It's 45 and rain every day. So here in Austin, it's quite beautiful right now. So definitely going to be doing that. So we're going to go to Whole Foods. And then second, we're going to go get some food in downtown. And then probably just Uber back or maybe meet up with some people. We'll see. Also wanted to talk about my Airbnb that I got set up right now. It's just, it's like with this older lady. She's probably about to retire soon. She's talking about it. And we actually went on a walk together. She's super nice. That's one of the great things. And we just like talk about like Austin and cool things you can do around here. That's one thing I love about like some like Airbnb is like get a chance to kind of assimilate more with the culture. <laughs> So yeah, that was pretty cool. Just live music playing on the sidewalk like that. Don't get that in Seattle. All right, so now we just picked up toothpaste, deodorant, and a toothbrush. Because uh, I was afraid TSA would take all that stuff because I'm not used to flying. So now we're gonna go to Cooper's Old Time Pit Barbecue. So I figured I'd take this time to kind of get my first impressions of Austin. It's my first time being in the city. And one thing I definitely know is how flat it is. It's actually super easy to walk around. Uh, they actually have these scooters that are kind of placed all around Austin that you can just scan your phone on and you can use as much as you want. You just kind of pick up and go and drop it off wherever you want. It kind of threw me off at first because I remember watching the guy drive up to me on the scooter, just drop it off and walk away. And I was like, you guys really trust your neighbors here. But that's just a thing in Austin, which I think is really cool. Although I ended up going to Cooper's Old School Pit Barbecue. This place was pretty dang good. If you guys might have seen my Instagram or Facebook post on that, possibly. It was just, uh, I had a slice of brisket, a slice of rib, and they dipped it in like this weird like brothy kind of sauce stuff and just made it really good. <laughs> and I had a side of potato salad and the potato salad was kind of more mushy kind of thing with like a light bite of potato. It was much more like a mashed potato kind of thing. Uh, the brisket was fantastic. The ribs, the meat just scraped right off the bone purely clean it was had a nice dry rub barbecue flavor to it it was really great they actually had complimentary like bread and beans and cold slaw and stuff like that i just had a little bit of the, the beans the beans were actually really nice it's like it had like a classic like baked bean flavor with a little bit i think like some veggie like either an onion or something like that mixed in with it and a bunch of more peppery kind of flavor to it which may give it a so a flavor of baked beans i've never had before but it was overall a fantastic meal uh if you ever go to austin i highly suggest going to that place Later on for dessert afterwards, I went to a place called The Baked Bear and I've never seen this place before but it's a custom ice cream sandwich shop basically and I do love my ice cream sandwiches. You can choose what cookies you want for the top or bottom and also your, what kind of ice cream you want in the middle. You can top it off with either caramel or fudge or anything. So what I ended up going with was the top cookie being salted caramel, the bottom cookie being called a gooey cookie butter thing and then cookies and cream ice cream in the middle topped with hot fudge they even had a hot iron press where you can have them press the cookies down to get them nice warm and toasty for you so you can just scoop right in you get a nice warm cookie with cool cream of ice cream topped with some hot fudge just a dream come true it was amazing so yeah guys that's day one of austin no gaming because the gaming stuff starts on Friday. It's Thursday today. So we got that to look forward to. Day one of Austin, Texas. Uh, awesome Halo 3-ness. Uh, it's only going to be the, pro, the pros 4v4 tournament. So we gain a lot of stuff with that. Probably meet up with some Halo YouTube guys and stuff like that as well. And so we got that to look forward to. And then uh, the day after that is the big team battle of Bonanza. Lots of stuff going on this weekend. Super excited about it. Hope you enjoyed day one of just kind of experiencing Austin. We'll go into day two with some actual Halo. All right, so now we're on day two right now. Hope you guys enjoyed day one. Just a little bit of walking around Austin, just kind of experiencing the whole thing. Uh, today, we're going to go to the Halo event to check out the Pro 4v4 tournament. And there's also a 2v2 happening right now. But before we go into the event, we're gonna go get some food and then we're gonna make our way to the stadium, to the arena. Yeah. 
the food I ended up picking up was at Gus's fr world famous fried chicken. As you can see in the picture here, we got a wing, and we also have a breast as well. Comes with a side of baked beans, and I substituted a side for fried okra on re recommendation from a friend. And basically, like the chicken was really great. Like it wasn't over fried or anything. The breading was really well done, well seasoned. Uh, the beans were pretty unique. They're really sweet. They had like that baked bean flavor like you expect but they also had like a bit of a cr onion crunch mixed in there as well i think some jalapenos and it was very sweet um you know probably about as much you see on the screen is probably all i could really handle and for the drink i had some sweet iced tea so it was a great way to start off the day with some awesome fried food and get some energy and needed for a long day of gaming hanging out with friends and all that good stuff in between so the first event they had going on was the halo 3 2v2 tournament where a well-established professional and a pro am kind of thing going on right there would team up together play against each other and so it was a really cool thing to watch and in between matches i just kind of want to stop by and watch and i looked up to my left and guess who was there it was chris lee the head of fps at 343 studios the guy with uh, basically in charge of making sure halo infinite turns out to be as about as awesome as you can imagine it so it was pretty cool to get a chance to meet him real quick and uh, after that match was over i walked over to the station within the convention center where i had my buddies who were doing some live streaming there because they were flown in from 343 and also got a chance to watch some of the free-for-all action there was an open free-for-all tournament with a grand prize of i think it was 200 2 500 so it was a really cool thing to see what was going on there but it was really cool to guy hang out with some buddies that i haven't met seen or met with i got a chance to meet up with actually the guy on the left action man and the guy on the right stress and you know, i've been following your streams quite often they're super cool dudes super nice and they actually recognized me which is pretty cool to know uh, and uh, it was just really good, cool to get a chance to meet up with those guys and when i was walking around town with stress and article I actually came we both came across this little corner right here which i thought was so cool i had to take a picture of it and like i turned out really well i was like wow this looks like a desktop so i just thought it was a fun picture to share with you guys there then once we got back to the convention, it was time for Stress and Action Man and Shyway to start streaming. So then I ended up hanging out with Uber, Nick, Proximity, Reclaimer, and their buddies as well. We ended up walking around Austin a little bit, walked down 6th Street, as you, can, as you can see right here. And actually what they do, they block off the street at night, and it's a complete party zone, basically. And for South by Southwest, it was packed. You can see we're kind of walking with the crew right here after everyone was done streaming and doing things with uh, 343 at the time. And then uh, we went back to the hotel just kind of hung out a bit and then a couple of us actually went back out to 6th street during the middle of the night and you can see it is bumped and packed to pack wall to wall with just people it was actually really difficult to walk through it all it was pretty crazy it was almost like going through a metal concert it was so packed full of people but afterwards we ended up going back and of course we ended up watching some halo montages because we're halo fanboys obviously and so it was a great way to kind of just hang out and have a good time with some friends that haven't seen in a long time now, if you were wondering where those dulcet tones come from, that is your voice all out. What a lovely, lovely voiceover to that video. I mean, I felt very almost emotional watching that recap. That sure was. It was, wasn't it? Sure way to start the Day three started out with the big team battle bonanza where basically it's just a combination of pros, the, the content creator guys from Grassroots, some 343 employees, and Walshie's team versus Golden Voice team that they also picked out as well. And this was just one of the most fun things I've seen ever at a Halo event. I absolutely love this big team battle bonanza. It was so much fun to watch. Not only was it just that, uh, it was also had a bit of a competitive edge to it, but I can tell that everyone was just like trying hard to win, but ultimately having fun. I feel like this big team battle event really captures the essence of what it is to play Halo with the casual audience. I think this was a much more of a connected kind of experience that the viewers can understand a lot more than competitive gameplay, which I don't mind. Trust me, it's a lot of fun to watch some competitive gameplay. But seeing this as well, we're seeing like pro players succumb to like some of the situations you come up with as well while playing BTB. Like, you know, sometimes you hit a rock wrong or sometimes you get hit with a rocket and your, your Warhog is doing like 18 flips in a row and just the craziness that BTB has to offer and just the players that were involved with it I was just super happy for the grass 
Rashford guys to get involved with this. Super happy to see them on main stage. I think uh, the big the talk between everybody was Uber Nick's clip where he was able to get like a quick scope on proximity and turns over to the right and snipes out Snakebite. It was just an awesome, awesome event. I think they need to do some more like these kind of casual, fun, competitive kind of events more often when it comes to these Halo events. Uh, the banter between Walshy and Golden Boy was hilarious and you even got a chance to have the commentators talk with Golden Boy and Walshy while they're playing the games as well which I've never seen in any other uh, gaming event on live stream so I thought that was a great addition as well and uh, you know, I, when I was at the after party on the last day I definitely had to congratulate the guys who were able to pull it off because I thought that was fantastic but yeah ultimately you need to have something like this for every event it's just so much fun it's like a pro-am all-star event kind of thing we never really had had before in a Halo tournament and I think this is something that's just really unique fun and just really enjoyable to watch and I would love to see this come around more often when it comes to these Halo events so we're gonna get some food head back I think uh, like Nick and Rock Cole and stuff like that are be streaming but uh, let's try to get some more food and get head back over to uh, inside the convention and check out some more stuff the South by Southwest so yeah, the food in between the events here, we had some fried chicken and fried avocado. I've never had a fried avocado before, and I was kind of worried about that, but actually it gave it a nice little kind of crusty uh, outside edge to the whole thing. So it gave you a nice little te creamy texture of the avocado with a crunchiness of, uh, of it being fried. And of course, you had the fried chicken, which was just fantastic, and all wrapped in a nice little tortilla with some coleslaw and a little bit of sauce on there to make it even better. And woof. This was good. So yeah, with a new belly full of awesome food here, I decided to actually get a chance to walk around the convention center and just check out what they all had to offer. Now, it was mostly a lot of stuff you can just kind of buy. Uh, like comic books, t-shirts, posters, things of that sort. Uh, maybe a little bit, there was a little bit of a food court as well. I didn't bother with that because I'd rather get the food that's outside, which is way better. And uh, there was actually, you know, just little knickknacks, gaming related stuff here and there. Just walking around with my buddies, Big Texas and Shaw right here. You can see who are friends of uh, Proximity and Reclaimer. And uh, we just kind of walked around, check out a few things. Uh, I didn't end up buying anything. Nothing really caught my, or as Marie Kondo would say, spark job. But then I caught across these guys right here. If you can see, everyone's turning their heads. These guys dressed up in Mario cosplay, playing Mario. You have to check it out right here. So yeah, that was pretty awesome. And after we're done checking out a few things, we ended up going back over to the stream station just because it's where everybody was hanging out. I think they had some preliminary matches going on for the event, so it wasn't really worth going by watching too much. I just want to hang out with some buddies, you know, and that good stuff. So we got to watch, uh, you know, uh, some of the guys streaming and I came across this one person here doing a cosplay like some weird sparring cosplay thing I don't know what it was. I loved it. I had to grab a picture with it and, But not only that I actually got recognized at this event by this guy right here I actually didn't catch your name. I'm so sorry, dude But if you're watching this video like let me know because like it was so cool to get recognized Outside of the internet for like doing YouTube videos and stuff like that And so that's the first time I've ever been recognized and I just wanted to say thank you for coming by and hanging and saying hi I really do appreciate it. It was super cool. So after the guys were done streaming, went over back to the event to watch a little bit more of the 4v4 going on over there. We got Snagus Pick over here. We're hanging out with uh, me, uh, everybody, Jeremy, uh, Nick, Proximity, and Reclaimer as well. We got to watch the event. And afterwards, we decided to go out and grab some food at this one Asian Hawaiian fusion place, and some funny moments happened. Sally Clay. <laughs> <laughs> Not this one. Oh my god, so good. The caramelization that they had on the pineapple was perfect where it kind of helped complement the burger rather than be the burger. And having some waffle fries or sweet potato waffle fries, fantastic as well. And it was just a great meal. Super happy we went to this location. Got this picture as well. Just because, what? It's, we're out having fun. It's a good time. Okay guys, final day of South by Southwest. Now I do know I didn't really get a whole lot of footage uh, yesterday, but that's mainly just because you know, either I was watching Halo 3 or I was watching the guys stream Halo 3 or Halo 5 
And then the other night, just kind of hang out in the hotel. We're not doing a whole lot right now, but I think today we might go a little bit off just because like the last day of the event and stuff. So I'm super excited about rocking the new shirt. I'm loving it. And it's gonna be the last day of South by Southwest event. Try to get some more footage for you guys. And uh, yeah, let's get, uh, let's get going. So yeah, the, si the final day of the event, we're gonna see the champions of the Invitational today. We're gonna have the winners of the free for all happy day, which we have stress and article guys. I got to hang out with a bunch this weekend, which I'm really hoping for both those guys to do well. And uh, that's about it, really. The rest of it's just gonna be hanging out with a bunch of guys. Well, let's do it. So I got back to the Halo station in the convention. They were, they were kind of in a holding pattern, waiting for the free for all to start. And they actually have a free play area right here where they were doing the free for all tournament. But then you can just jump in and start playing some Halo 3. So yeah, your boy had to jump in and play some Halo 3 on land, which I never really got a chance to experience. And I've always heard about how the hot shot registration and everything just a lot crispier on land. And I definitely would have to agree with that. Uh, so I was just jumping in playing some free for alls against just random people. And you know, of course, stomping like I do. So here's some footage I was able to pick up from the free-for-all tournament that happened. This was actually not live streamed, so I was kind of bummed about that. I was kind of hoping to see this played on the main stage because I think a lot of people would love to see some competitive free-for-all happening, but I think mainly just because uh, none of the pros or any bigger name guys were able to actually be in this BTB, so it was kind of open to the public who wanted to join in and have some fun, which I think is fantastic getaway for new up-and-coming players to kind of make their name because a lot of times uh, players who are trying to get their way into the pro circuit when it comes to Halo make their name by playing free-for-all tournaments and uh, yeah this is what the final event right there you can see that uh, it was it was pretty sweaty but it was fun to watch a lot of times and some really good plays for sure and uh, hoping for my boys article and uh, stress to do well on this also the guy casting this had an amazing voice Three, in seventh place with nine points is Press, everybody give it up. Woo! Here we go. With our six hundred dollar cash prize, with sixteen points and a hundred and forty-four score, is article. Yeah. First place with twenty total. Points, oh. Rhino. So yeah, third place walked away with $600 and first place walked away with $2,500 in this tournament. So congrats to Rhino getting that. But don't worry, even if you finish last place, you still got $150, so totally worth your time. So congrats to Stress and to Article for making it into the finals and, you know, making a little bit of money while you're there. It's it cleverly at all. You just said the word moist really loud and then you just pointed out how you said moist again. I know, like, I know we have some whereas, like, moist fans in the audience here. <laughs> That's right. Don't Actually, encourage him. Don't that, encourage him. You see, that's going to be the name of my he's subscribers just do it more now. The moist. So yeah, you know, I had to get a little bit on the live stream there. That was just purely by coincidence. But why we sat behind those guys is because like the seats opened up. We had to move over, and me, Talkwin, and uh, Ubernick, and our buddies as well just kind of all moved over, and we were kind of being right behind the guys. So just kind of a little nod, like, hey, how you doing over there, live stream over the Halo fans over the internet. How are you doing? <laughs> uh, this little thing right there. But yeah, so we got to watch the finals of the South by Southwest event. It was Reciprocity versus Tox, where Reciprocity actually beat Tox earlier that day in the winner's final. So this was the grand finals and Reciprocity won four to one in the series. And I was super excited about that. I've wanted Reciprocity to get a win since, oh God, like a year and a half, some, two years or whatever. How long has it been since I've been kind of following the team? And uh, I'm super excited to see his guy, see Snipe down get a win because uh, he's the main reason why I really enjoy watching uh, Reciprocity is probably why they're my favorite team. So super excited for them. And the uh, cool thing is when we were, I was walking out of the event, actually ran into Pistola the legend himself. Just had to give him a little fist bump saying, hey man, congratulations on the win, can I snag a pick? And he's like, yeah man, sure, no problem. And so uh, yeah, I think I post that up on my Instagram as well if you guys want to check that out. So it was super cool to get just a chance to just like congratulate him, say hi. So yeah, after the event, we kind of recuperated, went back to the hotel room, got set, set up, ready to go for the rest of the night, because we knew it was going to be a pretty big night, so we went out and got some sushi with the whole crew, which was super awesome. The sushi was fantastic. 
at this restaurant that right here on the on the, along the river in Austin, and it was just a really great time to kind of, you know, send off everybody. Had you just kind of talk about how great the event was and just talk about our experience. And Talkman had a nice little uh, trick here for everybody to show off. <laughs> All right, we're doing this. Are you the replay? Replay! Whoa, 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 whoa! So what you do is you take a phrase and you record it, and then you reverse that and then listen to it and then say it backwards and then reverse that. So it's like, I spy pull, like, hi guys, I spy pull here, <laughs> right? Hi guys, I spy pull here. Then you reverse that. Okay. Anyone looking outside of this will see this is so <laughs> weird. And then you just record it. So after guys, we were done getting some sushi. We went back to the hotel where there was a three four three after party thing going on right there, and we just got the go over, hang out, and just kind of meet up with a bunch of got people from three four three, some pro players, and also hanging out with the content creator guys, the grassroots guys, some more and stuff like that. Just having a good time, just drinking up, having a good time, and just enjoying you know our time that we had in Austin. I got, actually got a chance to meet up with Uni Shack right here, which was super cool. Uh, he actually remembered me. He's like Kevin, I feel like I know you, man. <laughs> <laughs> so I just appreciate the time being able to come out and hang out with everybody and then after then that was pretty much the whole night right there It was a really fun time and then afterwards the next morning We actually got out and went got chick-fil-a with Nick because he's never had chick-fil-a before So we had to of course had to go do that and I got a snagged a picture of that and of course They also had to ruin it as well, but yeah, and then right after that guys we went out to the airport and I flew back home and that was about it but yeah and that about summed up my experience at South by Southwest it was a time to remember I greatly appreciate everyone from the Halo community just being so friendly and so inviting just having me just some guy on the internet who also likes making videos hang out with everybody and have a great time I really do appreciate it and also want to thank all you guys the viewers because without you guys I'd just be some dude making videos to the internet with nobody watching. It'd be kind of weird, right? Uh, but thanks to your guys' support continuously, I was actually able to make this trip affordable as well as just have my name out there. So when I got the chance to meet these guys, they know that I'm also a content creator and that I'm out here also trying to get that YouTube grind as well. Excited for Halo Infinite, just giving my thoughts and just you know, being a part of the community. And so I want to thank you all so much for your continued support on this channel. Uh, if you guys want to see more vlogs like this about anything else that could potentially about Halo related or just vlogs in general, you know, make sure to leave a like in the video because, uh, you know, let me know when you see some more content like this. Leave a comment down below what your thoughts were on the South by South West event or your thoughts on this video as well as it's my first like actual vlog. And if you guys are new to the channel and want to stay updated with anything Halo related, please make sure to tap subscribe and I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace out.